guys welcome back to medical mnemonics pocket today we have sturge weber syndrome as a part of our videos on neurocutaneous tumors here i have four hints for you to remember some of the features of uh, sturge weber syndrome so our hint one is weber lateralizes to conduct to deaf ear this is also code for uh, ENT Weber test so from the word Weber in the disease Sturge Weber we have our first hint Weber lateralizes to conduct to deaf ear so Weber we have cerebral uh, cerebral I have converted to cerebral just for our mnemonic so cerebral malformations L4 lateralizes here we have lateralizes so lateral ventricles involvement conduct to C for cortical atrophy that is unilateral Deaf dilation ipsilateral ear stands for encephalo trigeminal angiomatosis i know it's a hard catch but it is the other name of uh, sturge weber so it is important and as you can see it is followed by a hint to all neurocutaneous tumors suffer from uh, seizures and mental retardation except vhl so in the clinical features we can have seizure and mental retardation and the other features here we have three means of transport that is a hint three three four three transport uh, transport methods so port is for port when stain at the rate of face railroad track and snakes on plane is a picture that's a movie uh, to remember serpentine railroad track or serpentine appearance of intracranial calcification and that intracranial you have to remember it occurs at occipital parietal region that is at the back and a hint phone is hint four is if accident occurs that is the transport methods if they do occur the accidents uh, you can see blood everywhere so c that is eye involvement is glaucoma i have also used the word c for eye involvement in uh, tuberous sclerosis video also so see glaucoma blood, blood is abnormal blood vessels on brain surface so these are our four hints that is Weber lateralizes to conduct to deaf ear hint 2 is a generalized statement hint 3 is three communication methods the three transport methods Four is if the accident occurs, you see blood. This concludes our videos on neurocutaneous tumors. Do check out my other videos. If you support to support me, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Have a great day.